Oh my god. Don't, 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 don't slam into the room. Ah! Uh, this is dead. This is absolute death now. Now, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. In today's video, we are on board this very beautiful 747, and we're gonna perform a flight today. But there is a catch. This, this is the catch. It's, it's gotta go. This is a joystick controller, and I've just unplugged this. Yes, in today's video, we are in for another one of those. Ugh challenge videos so basically we're simulating what if you know quite like the movie you know scenes right the yoke for example breaks off you know something that can of course happen all the time in midair of course if that were to happen in midair in real life it would just turn on the autopilot and have that one land the plane that won't work today the only tool that's going to help us fly today is this the throttle quadrant the new one that we checked out very recently from thrustmaster as you can see it has all the four engines that the 747 needs to fly and this one actually will allow us to you know use um differential thrust so for example i can give more power on the right engine or you know the right engines here or you know the left engine legend one and two and this also allows us to you know you know pull flaps and all that stuff all we need to i guess control the aeroplane let's actually perform a full flight rather than jumping into an emergency in the midair right yeah let's go ahead and actually even take off with this whole differential thrust thing all right so let's actually you know what we're already at full power let's just hope that this is gonna work i'm gonna use yeah do a little bit of minor adjustment just to stay on the center line and stuff like that not to run off the runway and i think automatically the plane should take off on its own very soon what is very fortunate for this whole flight is that we still have the flap lever right and also the speed brake and this will actually give us more control than you might think now an emergency like this has already happened quite a few times where differential thrust was used when control was lost for example hydraulic control was used in one of those dc 10 crashes actually more effectively than you might think so everybody a full flight means we're gonna actually you know what do a little bit of a circle and come in for a land again you know what if just right after takeout you notice oh no the controls don't work but we're already midair so we're basically doomed Let's see how this is gonna work okay we're losing altitude I'm not happy about that we're losing altitude a lot we need more flaps Jesus Christ okay here we go we're gaining some altitude again now a lot of concentration is of course needed to bring this down safely let's go ahead and gain some nice distance to the airport and then again do a little bit of a, like a turnaround circle then come in for a landing uh oh. Ooh, the plane is entering a dive right here. I'm trying to give in full flash right here before the plane actually dies. Let's maybe try now to just turn around right here. Again, we're looking to come in again for the airport. And uh, so I'm just gonna, you know, give full into the fourth engine. And that one is coming up nicely. This will make us actually turn around a bit, hopefully. Okay. Ooh. All right, this is a little bit tough. Ah, uh, okay. All right, now. God damn it, oh, this turn is quite scary. Just trying to keep somewhat of nice control here. Honestly, I couldn't imagine how stressful a hydraulic failure would be. Imagine, like, some other factors, like running out of fuel soon, you know. Alright, nice little turn. As you can see, yeah, this differential thrust does work, of course. Now, what I'm scared about now is, of course, aligning for the runway that we've got right in front of us. The airport is not very far away. And we've got to make sure now to neutralize this little uh, left turn that we're doing, trying to come in safely for the airport. While also kind of gradually losing some altitude. Oh, my God. Please. Get down. The runways is down there. I mean, seriously, if I was, you know, a captain on board this hydraulic lost flight, I would just say, all right, passengers, uh, this will be a hard landing. Brace for impact desperately. Plane's probably not going to survive this, but I'm trying to make this work for y'all. So let's do this. Okay. Oh, my God. No, don't go down that much. Oh, that sink rate. Oh, Jesus Christ. More flaps. More flaps action. Please. Okay. Oh my. Alright, cockpit view now. It is time to come in for a landing. We are extremely extraordinarily fast. But let's lose some of that speed and the airport is coming up. I just want to somewhat head for some kind of landing space. You know what? I would be even be happy to even land in grass. Just like anything will do. Oh my god. Just imagine having a bird strike right now. That would be so weird. Alright, you know what? For some reason, the taxiway that's in the middle of those two runways is actually kind of, you know, smiling at me. Waving. You know, come by. Why don't you stop? 
Oh my god, it's going down. Air down is going down. Full power on all those engines. Oh. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, right, okay. Le airport's coming up. Let's lose some altitude, get rid of the, all of that, and let's just get down. Okay. Taxiways ahead. Can we make this? Let's find out. Oh, full power. Oh my god. Don't, 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 don't slam into the roof. Oh! Ah! This is dead. This is absolute death now. Whoa, whoa. Grass, grass. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's actually almost been butter. All right, come on. No, I don't want to take off again now. This has been a bit of a bounce. Okay. I mean, we impacted the ground safely. And this is probably the worst thing that you could ever do. Impact. We even have clapping in the background for some reason. And the passengers don't really know what's going on right here. But, uh, Jesus Christ. That's not worked out at all. That's like probably the worst thing that can ever happen. You know, touching down on the ground quite hard. And then bouncing off to fly again. Because you don't want to fly with that kind of damage on board, of course. But let me check out how hard this really was. Of course, you know, I have this in the replay mode here as well. And Jesus Christ, the FPS are bad. But this has actually been... The landing has been okay. Uh, but still, that is, uh, really not all too good, is it? Alright, so let me try this again here. This little approach. Just see if we can make this. Alright, okay. Oh my god, oh, the spawns is in the worst position ever. Okay. Okay, everybody, welcome back to, uh, simulating a Reiner Flight 001. Come on, let's go now. We've got some taxiways ahead, which are actually looking quite alright. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially, you know, controlling and navigating the plane around without any controls is actually not that big of an issue, again, with this differential thrust. But when it comes to, like, the precision controls, like the precision in inputs, uh, it just doesn't work out at all. Okay, come on. Okay, taxiway's coming up down here. Let's do a Harrison Ford. Okay. Landing coming up. All right, that's been safe. That's been safe. We are, we have landed. Okay. Yes! And now we have our rudder here on the ground. Even though I was actually supposed to disconnect the rudder, of course. But here we go. We've done something good. We've survived this. Perfect. But all right, you know that huge old Frankfurt airport was quite easy. Let's maybe try then an airport with a little bit of a smaller area. Land space. London City. All right, this would just be absolutely stupidly dangerous. Because, like, <laughs> yeah, you could just go to Heathrow, which is like a few miles west. But that's another story. There we go. And also, you're very much endangering the, the lives of people living in the city. You know what? To draw a conclusion quite early, with this whole differential thrust, losing, you know, some of your hydraulics, like the primary control input hydraulics, like, you know, the ailerons and the elevators, isn't even half bad of an emergency. Like, it's not the worst. It's not like losing your wing or colliding with another airplane or even losing your engines. This goes just to show again that we can trust in thrust. So, everybody, let's get this going. Let's get this safely landed, especially. Keep the airplane level and all that stuff. Uh, my poor Thrustmaster controls right here. Let's come in for a landing. Hop into the cockpit view. Coming down. Runways ahead. Going very fast. They would have noticed that you, you know, very much over speed when you do landing like this, of course. But you know what? We're coming in good for the runway. Maybe we're even gonna, you know, do maybe like a <clears throat> smooth landing on the runway even. It's not looking like it. Oh my god. Let's, oh no! Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the hell's the ground doing here? Okay. Oh, okay, runway's coming up. Okay, let's not slam the ground. We're gonna slam the ground. We're definitely gonna die. Ah! Building! Okay, time to die. Okay, good. That's, uh, that's not gone very well at all. Sorry. All right, so maybe we're set back here. <clears throat> Try this again and stuff like that. Oh my god, this is the worst possible. Oh, ba! River! Oh, we can hear screaming from the passengers. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. So, yeah, guys, what have we learned today? So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Loser, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.